Hello, and welcome to this week's Gospel Project video. This week, we are taking a big 30,000-foot view of three of Paul's letters in the New Testament, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, and Titus. These are what I learned in Bible college and seminary. We call them the pastoral epistles. This is Paul writing not to churches, but Paul specifically writing to two young men, younger men in ministry, Timothy and Titus, both of whom have traveled with Paul. They have done ministry alongside Paul. And then Paul kind of left them to plant churches, to lead churches. And these letters function as his encouragement to them in what they should be doing in leading these churches. What we're going to focus on with your kids this week was it's ideas around what do we as older generations transmit faith-wise and practice of our faith-wise to the next generation. Uh, 1 Timothy has one of my most favorite verses in all of Scripture because it relates really well both to student ministry and to kids' ministry, which is 1 Timothy 4.12, which says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young, but set for the believers an example of what it looks like to follow Jesus. And I think these that verse is a kind of a summary of all three of these letters and what we were going to focus on this weekend with your kids in terms of what adults should be transmitting to them are things like trusting God, obeying God, proclaiming the gospel, guarding the integrity of the gospel and guarding the faith that we have and, and, and protecting it as much as it needs our protection from false doctrine and false gospels and wrong belief and those kinds of things. But I think all of that can be kind of summed up in this idea of like, hey, next generation, you're not the future of the church, you're the now of the church. And we as the adults in your life, we as the more seasoned, more experienced believers in your life, need to be better about transmitting the right things to you. Not our cynicism, not our lack of love for people. We need to be transmitting to our teenagers and to our kids, trusting first in God, obeying God no matter how hard the thing he's doing us, that he's asking us to do is. Proclaiming the gospel. It's one of the things Paul tells both of these young men is like, be really good about preaching the gospel. Be really good about having that be the main crux of your message is the gospel and our need for grace and our need for Jesus. And then guarding that faith and, and, and protecting it and, and not allowing modern day popular influences come in and color or change what the biblical idea of faith and following the Lord is. Is. And so that's what we were going to focus on this weekend, was just the idea that Paul, to these young men, encourages them and challenges them to trust and obey God, to proclaim the gospel, to guard the faith that has been kind of entrusted to them. And for your kids, that big idea holds true, is what we should be doing is transmitting all of those things to them, the ideas of trusting and obeying and pre preaching the gospel and, and guarding the integrity of the gospel. And so the big idea for us as the adults in our kids' lives is to make sure we're doing those things, make sure the examples that we're setting and how we follow the Lord, how we love the Lord, how we love other people are transmitting those right things about faith uh, because what we do and how we act and what we say does get transmitted to the next generation. That is a foregone conclusion. That does happen. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the things we are transmitting are the things of Jesus, are the things of life and hope and grace and forgiveness and trust in God. So that was what we were going to talk about with your kids this weekend. I hope you're doing well. Uh, I hope uh, you are enjoying the fact that, uh, that school is about to wrap up. We're going to get into summer, uh, summer break here in just a few weeks, and hopefully this summer will look a little different, maybe a little bit more normal than last summer did. But until I get to see you again, either in the next video or in person, God bless.